Hi, this is Phil and I am here to tell you what you need to buy and what gear you need in the beginning to become a videographer slash photographer. So stay tuned for some helpful tips. Okay, so the first thing that you need obviously is a camera. So in my case I bought this beauty which is the Fuji X-T4 and well it's it's a it's an awesome camera it's an awesome camera to make photos and it's also an extremely good camera to take videos it has up to 60 frames per second hd um, and 4k obviously um, so you can make 4k videos you can make hd videos and um, the cool thing is it has several movie modes like the eterna movie mode which i love to shoot in but you can also shoot in f-log which is a very low contrast and um, saturation mode if you want to do some color grading afterwards. So this is my go-to camera, this is my gear, the Fuji X-T4 and what I bought is a basic Fuji lens here, an 18 to 55 millimeter lens with a zoom and optical image stabilization and I consider this to be a very important point because if you want to shoot videos you want image stabilization not only digital but also optical so the real thing basically this helps you very much in having steady footage in your starting uh, videography career here and next thing I bought is another lens now you do not necessarily need this but depending on your use case you might want to invest in a wide angle lens. Now why is that? For example this is a 12 millimeter super wide angle lens. Okay, It has only manual focus which is okay but the thing is it captures a lot more of your environment obviously because it is a wide angle lens so if you want to shoot um, real estate for example this is extremely useful because with this 18 to 55 you do not catch as much of the environment as you might need to and then again this one is better for shooting for example um, marriages or uh, weddings sorry and um, things with people in it because if you do wide angle lenses people tend to have a bigger head and it's not very um, helpful for um, portrait shooting for example but if you want to do real estate absolutely invest in a wide angle lens and these are basically the only two lenses i have right now um, for my camera and this covers pretty much all of the use cases as of now but I mainly shoot, like I said, real estate and I also shoot travel vlogs with this one, which is totally fine. I might invest into a bigger lens, which has up to 80 millimeters and also a bigger zoom. Um, but this is not something that you will need in the beginning. In the beginning, you can only invest in this one lens. 18 to 55 is totally fine. And well, the camera body, of course. Now, how much does this cost right now? Like the camera body of the X-T4 in Germany as of now goes for around 1700 quid. It's not cheap, I admit that, but the, there's cameras that cost half, there's cameras that cost three times this price. So you gotta know what you wanna do. But the two basic go-to cameras right now are the Sony Alpha 3 which is around the same price between 1500 and 2000 quid as of now uh, or this one which is for the same price I would say for photos the um, Sony is a, is a dash better but that's subjective and for videos this one is a dash better because it, because it has up to 10 bit color grading and um, you can choose either one basically okay you can choose either one I prefer this one because of the Eterna mode as well so it has the, some cool presets that you can take so your movies look good out of the box. Okay. Um, then again the lens is around 400 quid and the wide angle lens was a little cheaper with 250 quid. Okay. So we're looking at let's say 1600 plus the 400 you're looking at 2k for this one and moving on what you absolutely need is one of these things which is an extra light it's just a small extra light um, with all the colors basically 
and also you can choose the color warmth and this is very helpful because you can imitate um, sunlight for example uh, but you can light up any room you can light up any footage that you want to do you can light up people and this is extremely helpful this costs like 15 bucks and um, is extremely helpful and you can just plug it here on your camera and and you're good to go and this is extremely helpful now do you need a flash i don't think so if you ever shoot in very dark scenes i take this one <laughs> because i mostly do movies if you solely will focus on making pictures then yeah maybe you need a flash but I never owned a flash myself and I never missed it. Uh, this thing is way more helpful in my opinion. So get one of these. I'll put the links of course in the description so you can find um, all the stuff online on Amazon. I think about all of this on Amazon. So these are the three things basically or four things if you will that you will need to start your videography or content creating career. So what you're looking at is around 2100 quid here okay so this is approximately the price um, 2300 if you want want to invest in this lens as well and what next thing is obviously a microphone so you can you should absolutely invest in a microphone now i'm just using a little level lavalier i don't know how you pronounce that sorry um in a little lavalier microphone that you can put into the camera and um, improve your sound by a lot because obviously the microphone that is in this camera is not usable in my opinion absolutely not you need good sound and for that you need an external mic now this one is very cheap this goes for 15 or maybe 20 now nah, I think I think it was even 10 when I bought it let's say between 10 and 20 quid so really cheap and it's enables you to make good sound and it gives you the opportunity to well to, to improve the whole user experience because you you would find this video a lot less enticing if the sound was bad people will um, apologize a, a few shaky hands in your camera movement so if you have some little shakes here people people will not be too uh, too much set off by that but if the sound is constantly bad and you can't listen to anything that the, that the people are saying yeah not so good okay if you shoot a lot of b-roll obviously there's no not so much sound but still you should invest in one of these um, little microphones in order to be capturing sound that you might add into your b-roll movies so what we're looking at here between 2000 and 2300 euros um now let's say you don't have that amount of money. What do you do? Um, well, I suppose you have a mobile phone, right? I suppose you have one of these. And if you do, especially if you have an iPhone, even better because they make even better movies. So if you have a recent camera phone, then I would say only invest in the microphone and in the light. So only invest these 30 to 40 euros um, as extra gear to your camera. And a gimbal is very helpful. I have the DJI Osmo 3, I think. I bought it on retail for 50 quid as well. So you're looking at 50, 70, 80 quid all together just in addition to your mobile phone if you want to get started and you are on a budget. So this is like the cheapest version to get started to make good video footage is an external lamp, a microphone and a gimbal. And you do not even need the gimbal necessarily, but in my opinion, it helps you a lot to have steadier footage, especially if you move around a lot, but you wouldn't even need the gimbal. So you're just looking at 30 quid here. And yeah, if you have um, an iPhone 11, for example, I did a lot of videos, even one here on my channel, no, several on my channel, with an iPhone 11. You can check this out here. I'll put the, the card here or here. And it looks awesome because the iPhone 11, it has 4K footage, 60 frames per second as well. Looks, looks just fantastic. And 
if you want to add some sound just get this microphone or one with Bluetooth you will need because it doesn't have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and this external light if you ever need some like let's say I wouldn't have the key light here I could just light myself up with this little thing it's, it's, it's just perfect so to get you started this is the gear you need if you got some uh, cash over then this um, all together is the gear you need and I hope I could help you with that and give you some information by showing my gear right now. <laughs> I mean, it's not that much and it will be more obviously depending on the use cases. I hope this helps and yeah, if you got any questions, just um, post them in the comments and please subscribe to this channel to get more information on how to become a content creator, on how to make photos, on how to make videos, because these are awesome topics and I try to share with you as much as I can in order for you to be able to become the best videographer or photographer that you want to be. I'm still learning myself and I'm still improving every day and I hope I could give you some useful advice here. I'm out. Peace.